If you do a ton of transplants in your growing season and you don't want to be down on your hands and knees, hurting your lower back, this is the pot of pookie and it could be a game changer for you and I'm going to talk about it in this video. All right, so this is the pot of pookie. This is a transplanting tool that's made by a company called BCC, which are based out of Sweden. You probably haven't heard of it before. They don't really market it to market gardeners or farmers. This is mainly marketed to tree planters. I'll provide a direct link in the description of the company that I got it from. I've had the pot of pookie for about two years. I've put in thousands of transplants, so I've got a lot of use out of it. So I'm gonna give you my full review of what I think of it, as well as demonstrate it. As soon as you get your hands on this thing, you realize it's no joke. This is a tough tool. It's basically made of all metal. There's hardly any plastic on it at all, and it's a real beast. As in, it's gonna do a lot of work and it's gonna last a long time. The pot of pookie comes in five sizes, which is determined by the hole that you put the transplants in. So they range from about an inch and a half in diameter to about three inches in diameter. This is the 75 millimeter or about three inches in diameter and it's the biggest one that they have. This one I got to accommodate for two inch soil blocks because that's what I was using last year. This year I'm using inch and a quarter, the big multi 35 soil blocker and so the, the size of the soil blocks are smaller but what I do as a hack to get the transplants to go down and stay upright is to just make sure my transplants are a little bit older in how long I grow them and therefore the leaves are going to be wider and they stay in the hole much better. So I've got a bed here that I'm about to till up, add a little bit of horse manure too and then I'm going to demonstrate the pot of pookie to you. So let's give it a whirl. Extra little tip I'm going to give for you here. When you're about ready to put your transplants in the ground, if you're using soil blocks like me, you know that they, the roots tend to grow together like a mass like this. So you want to be able to take, the, take each individual transplant off so that it's not all webbed together and you're stuck detangling it when you're putting the transplants in the ground. So I'm going to give you the bird's eye view here of what you're looking at when you're looking down the hole of the pot of pookie. So I've got it in the ground right now. Here's my transplant. You can see that the hole, or that the actual, the soil block is a lot smaller than this hole, but you don't really want that soil block to be banging or getting stuck in here. So that's why I chose the big one. And then you can see that with the leaves that are kind of somewhat overgrown in this transplant, they're gonna help keep this transplant right side up when it goes down. Because you don't want these transplants to flip around because what you don't want to have to do is to go down into the ground and have to turn this thing over again. So these wider leaves like this are going to help guide it down all the way to the bottom. As well as the weight that's in the actual soil block is always going to be pulling it down. Once you've dropped it down the hole, then there's two mechanisms down here. There's the black plate, which is basically just your foot pedal, which helps you push the whole pot of pookie into the ground. And then this lever, that's right here, when you push this down with your foot, it's gonna activate a plate that's in here, which is gonna open up the plate, and then you pull the pot of pookie out, and then your actual transplant's gonna stay into the ground. And then you can press with your foot the soil around it to make sure it's nice and snug. So I'll press the lever in with my foot. It's gonna open up the plate, and then I can pull it out. The transplant's in the ground, now you can see there's lots of soil and empty, there's a hole around it. So really all you have to do is take your foot and just kind of press this around like this. So it's nice and tight in there. When you pull the pot of pookie out of the ground, there's one last lever on this, which is this lever right here. When you pull it out of the ground, you push this down with your thumb and it's gonna take that plate and it's gonna release it again. And it makes a noise like this. 
It's a little annoying. All right, that's my review of the Potapuki. Like I said, depending on your context, if you're putting in hundreds or thousands of transplants over the course of a season, the less work you can do on your knees, bending over, hurting your lower back, the better. And this is a tool that really does help out with that. My technique was a little bit off. This is the beginning of the season. It's kale, I just wanted to get started. But as I go on in the season, my lines are a little bit straighter and my technique is better. One of the things you might have noticed was that I tend to go a little bit too deep and sometimes too much of the dirt covers up the actual transplant. So that's something I'm working on. It is a heavy tool, so you have to be able to control the weight, but it's a really useful tool and I would highly recommend it for anybody who does do a lot of transplants and who really wants to save their lower back or their knees when they're doing a lot of this work outdoors. If you have any questions, please put them into the comments and I will respond to them. I am a new YouTuber, so I would love it if you would subscribe. I've got tons of new content planned for this season, so I hope you come along. That's it for me. I'm Mike Barnes from Landsquarters Farm, and hope to see you in the next video.